Right now at 4 o'clock, new developments in a road rage shooting that turned deadly in Delaware County. Authorities now say speed may have been the reason the man opened fire on a car in Springfield this morning, killing the 54-year-old driver while his wife was in the passenger seat. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today is that senseless act of violence during the height of the morning rush today. Witnesses tell police the shooter may have been angry because the victim was apparently driving too slowly. Late this afternoon, we also learned that victim's identity. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez is live outside the Springfield Police Department with more on the update we just got a short time ago from authorities there. Aliana. Well, Brian, Sarah, I can tell you that we are learning new details about a possible motive in this shooting. As you mentioned, investigators say they believe that the victim was shot and killed for driving too slow in rush hour traffic. We're talking about bumper to bumper traffic, and now they're vowing to hunt down this suspect and bring him to justice. A quiet Springfield Township community jarred by senseless gun violence after a 54 year old man was shot and killed in an apparent road rage incident. I heard two loud pops and then a car crash. The sound of gunfire just before 9 a.m. brought neighbors outside to find a horrific scene. I go to check the door and a woman screaming to me. She's like, help. Somebody help call 911. My husband's dead. Witnesses rushed in to help the injured driver who's been identified as King Hugh of Springfield Township. Investigators say a woman driving a dark colored SUV pulled onto the shoulder of State Road, and that's when a man opened his door and fired into the white Toyota, killing the driver. Came over to the side and shot through the windshield. So anybody who observed anything this morning between around 8.45 and 9 uh, a.m., uh, that would be helpful to the police as we continue this investigation. Investigators say the victim's wife has no idea why her husband was killed. Springfield Township Police say this kind of violence will not be tolerated. If you come here to commit a crime, we're going to find you, we're going to arrest you, we're going to prosecute you. If you flee, we're going to aggressively pursue you, we're going to hunt you down, and we're going to lock you up. Yeah, the chief of police not playing games with this, saying this is not going to happen in Springfield Township. And they're also urging people in the community to come forward with information. They say many people have already called in with information that's been helpful, but they really want more people to come forward with details about the gunman or anybody who might have surveillance cameras or, or video outside of their home that might have captured this incident. Anyone with information, of course, should reach out to Springfield Police. Reporting live outside of the Springfield Township Police Department, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah. Yeah. And that info so far has been helpful. Thank you, Eliana.